Congressman, have they tracked down the fugitive star witness who was also a double agent for China and an arms dealer? Um, Surprisingly, Willie, we have not heard very much about him uh, since it became clear that he was indicted for making false statements, arms trafficking, being an agent of China and on the lam. I just wonder, since these people are such sticklers for what they call evidence, I noticed that Willie didn't say allegedly when he called that whistleblower a double agent. But as we all know, these people operate on their own standards or lack thereof. Also disturbing how the Democrats and their media are so bloodthirsty for every single one of these whistleblowers coming out against Biden. And even cheering on Biden's own DOJ coming down hard on these people, along with the F FBI retaliating right out in the open. I'm going to get right back to this MSNBC clip, but real quick, I want to show you this montage that was put together by Tom Elliott of Gerbion.com, showing the total 180 Democrats and the media have done on whistleblowers since Trump was president. The attack on the whistleblower um, is, is never wise. It's never lawful. Um, it's never honorable. It's everything you said. It's a travesty. And I'm not going to call them whistleblowers. They don't deserve whistleblower protection. Each and every one of them has a uh, strange history, has, guess what, Russian connections. They always do. All right, yeah, of course. These are not, as we would consider them, whistleblowers, people who are alleging wrongdoing. They weren't really whistleblowers at all. In fact, they weren't even credible witnesses. Two or three people who are political operatives, but they're not whistleblowers. These guys are not whistleblowers, period. Is a hardworking, patriotic person in the intelligence community who just wants to put the information out there. The president to call into question the credibility of this whistleblower. They're referring to this whistleblower as the so-called whistleblower. Oh, that was different. Just so we're clear, all of these people are lying scumbag state operatives for the government, and they hate you. He's he's on the land. And what about the Biden bribery bribery tapes we've heard about? Right. So the one uh, critical part of yesterday is that the witness completely debunked those allegations. Bullshit. He was on the board of Burisma. All of the money that Hunter Biden got from Burisma as being a member of the board went through their joint company. And he said there was no bribe of either Hunter or Joe. Democratic member of the House Oversight Committee who was in the room yesterday for that interview, Congressman Dan Goldman of New York. I guarantee it. Would I lie? But the, the, what the Congress is theoretically looking into is some tie to Joe Biden. They've provided no evidence for that. Oh, well, allow me to retort. Well, except there is evidence. We have an FBI confidential human source reporting that Joe Biden told Burisma that for $10 million, he'd make their illegal problems go away, which is exactly what ended up happening. We have Joe Biden attending more than a dozen meetings with Hunter Biden's business associates, which, again, he's been claiming for years now that he never did. We have Hunter's text messages that leverage his dad and appear to be extortion. We have Biden changing his story over and over again over the last four years. We even have the FBI. FBI publicly reporting that they had at least partially corroborated the Ukrainian bribery scheme. Hunter Biden and his business contacts talking about the big guy absolutely refer to Joe Biden. On top of all of that, we have multiple whistleblowers from the FBI and the IRS reporting that they were stopped from investigating leads pointing to Joe Biden. Seems like something so-called journalists would want to investigate. Instead, they're busy trying to cover for him. They haven't found it. They've been working on this for years and years and years, but... And I just love how this dumbass Willie Geis dismisses the legitimacy of investigating Joe Biden because, quote, they've been going on for years and years and years. Unlike the investigations into Donald Trump that somehow only now come to fruition just before an election where he's the main rival of the sitting corrupt president. Come on, don't bullshit me. Yeah, and understand what's happening here psychologically, right? Donald Trump was impeached twice for things that the American people could watch on TV. First was holding up Ukraine aid in exchange for uh, dirt on the Bidens, right? There was no question about the facts there. Wrong. No, there actually are questions, and those are just the opinions of a partisan Democrat. Trump believed that he was looking for corruption before he released those funds. And you could obviously argue that Biden bragged publicly on video about holding up congressionally approved Ukrainian aid until they fired the attorney investigating Burisma, of which Hunter Biden was inexplicably a board member of. So they said they had they were walking out to press conference. Said, nah, I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. 
I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. Oh, that was different. The Republicans, it's, it, it's just this internal primal urge to visit retribution on the Democrats. And the problem is they can't find a fact. Hunter Biden's business problems uh, partner said, uh, yeah, he was on some phone calls talking about the weather. Talking about the weather, exchanging pleasantries. And that's the end of that chapter. Notice how they only bring on Democrats to repeat, completely unchallenged, the exact same talking points that we hear from the state media operatives. It's all pure propaganda, and it should make you angry. Yes, he lied about talking to Hunter Biden about his business dealings. And now we find out that Joe Biden was directly taking part. The fact that he may have done it in a way that gives him plausible deniability for his propagandists in the media to use doesn't change anything. Joe Biden was only on on that phone to give Hunter Biden whatever he needed to complete his business deal. Joe Biden was lying. Why was he lying? That right there is evidence that he took part in corrupt behavior. That's all for this video. Make sure to hit that like button, share this video, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations.